trying to shift away from coal, at least to natural gas. If we can figure out how we could use money to accomplish that. So the United States has an energy surplus now, right? The purpose of this is really to engage the community in discussions about some of the more prominent policy issues of which climate change is one of those. And the difficulty that we're having in the U.S., we think that we will be able to in the future stand behind our commitments today. Once we stop growing, that we would decline by 1%. The simulation was great because it really brought people together who all have a stake in this. It allowed us to listen to everybody else and realize that we all have a different point of view. What are the like consideration of other countries, what everyone else is thinking? Because everyone has their own interest. It was uh, also very sobering because it, it demonstrated the, the difficulties of, uh, of multilateral negotiations. It was interesting because America and the European delegation had like food at their tables, whereas like a lot of other countries and delegations did not. Since I was a part of the privileged group, it definitely gave a sense of power. It's crazy. This is like feel good factor, but it's not realistic. She was, you know, promoting economic development and the use of fossil fuels. thinking about what does that really mean from other people's perspectives. We so often think about it only from our own, and so in this case could be somebody from a developing country. Everyone wants pollution to be reduced, but we have difference in opinion when this should be started and in what extent. But I'm optimistic. Overall, I'm very hopeful for the Paris Agreement because I think it's done one of the most important things, which is to bring people together. It also reminded me of, of the short time span that we have to actually deal with this. Everyone will be looking back saying, why didn't we do more? Why didn't we bend that curve faster toward uh, reducing carbon emissions? I'm actually motivated to, to go back and do some more study and to find out um, exactly how uh, individual countries and blocks are going to fulfill the promises they made at the Paris Conference. This was a really brilliant simulation about climate change and how we can confront it in the world. I think it's a big victory in itself to get people to be interested. Like There were people who showed up here on a Saturday afternoon and there are people who care.